What's going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, what I want to do is a quick little addition to the product versus period cost video. I basically want to go over some definitions you may run into that come up pretty frequently in managerial accounting courses. So I wrote out the product costs here. Remember we had the three different types. We had the direct materials, direct labor, manufacturing overhead. And I want to go over some definitions. So something you may see come up is something called prime costs. Prime costs are basically the direct costs and the product costs. So it's basically the direct materials plus the direct labor. So if a question is asking about prime costs, take the direct materials, add the direct labor. Those are your total prime costs. There's going to be also something called conversion costs. And conversion costs is basically direct labor plus manufacturing overhead. The way I like to think of uh, conversion costs is how do I take direct materials and convert them to a product? What do I have to do to convert them to a product? Well, I'm gonna have to take the direct materials and put some direct labor on it, and there's gonna be some manufacturing overhead as well. So those are your conversion costs to convert direct materials to a, uh, to a product. Another definition you may see come up is direct costs, right? Kind of touched on this. Basically, any costs that are directly traced to the product. So direct materials, direct labor. You may also see a definition like uh, costs that are directly traced to a cost object, right? Basically like the product, right? So you could see it go on the product. Direct materials, direct labor are direct costs for the product costs. You can also have a definition for indirect costs, right? We went over that as well. So like indirect material, indirect labor, that's pretty much gonna go under manufacturing overhead. Something I didn't mention with indirect costs is that they have to be allocated. Okay, so this is gonna be a concept that we go into more detail in future chapters. But uh, let's say that uh, you have a factory. Okay, so you have this factory. And let's say the total cost to run the factory is a million dollars, right? And that's excluding the direct materials and direct labor, right? So that's just all manufacturing overhead. So like the rent, the um, paying, the custodian paying, the factory supervisor, the utilities, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it all costs a million dollars. And let's say that you uh, have a car company like before, and you make three models. So let's say we have model A, we got model B, and then we have model C. And let's say that model A, it's like a sports car, it's your highest end product, and let's say that that takes 65% of the company or of the uh, factory resources. And then let's say that you have another model, sort of like in the middle, takes 25% of the factory resources. And then you have, what would that add up to? That would add up to 90. So model C, your lowest end product, takes 10% of the factory resources. Well, of that $1 million in manufacturing overhead, you're gonna have to allocate um, 650,000 of that indirect cost to model A, then 250,000 to model B, and then maybe 100,000 to model C. And you're basing it on the resources that each of these models use in the factory to create them. But then another question comes up is, 
how are you getting these numbers? What are you basing the resources on? Is it maybe basing it on direct materials, how much material is used for each car? Or is it how much labor is used for each car? So that's another question that you have to take into account. How are you gonna allocate these indirect costs, right? The direct costs are easy to allocate because you could see them go on the product. The indirect costs, you have to figure out how to allocate them and what um, unit of measure to use to allocate them. Are you going to use direct materials, direct labor? So we go over that in uh, future chapters. So direct costs, then you have indirect costs. They have to be allocated. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to go over in this video. Just some definitions that you might see come up in the chapter.